Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life. Okay, there, there's a video, there are probably a lot of videos on this subject on YouTube, but I don't think it's a video. The video I was, I didn't actually watch the video, but the title made me think of something. And I thought I would comment on it. Um, what would the United States look like? once it all goes to pot, so to speak. Actually, I don't think it's going to look a whole lot different than it does now. A lot of it's going to depend on where you live. I think it's going to, a lot of it's going to look like Spain did when I lived there under Franco. The way things looked in Italy under El Duce the way things looked in Germany in the 30s and 40s, um, the way things look in parts of China today, in some cases, in, in th you have to understand that, that the vast majority of people are going to become very poor. That's what it was like in Spain that's what it's like in China today. You know, most people they, they think of China they think of these tower these you know uh, skyscrapers and uh, all sorts of nice things like that but actually the vast majority of, of the Chinese people live in abject poverty. Um, you know, to be honest with you I think the time to stand up and fight back in, uh, as armed citizens is long gone. Um, I don't think you're going to see entire neighborhoods that are wrecked and um, desolate any more than you, you see those now. And there are some places where you see a lot of that. And my wife is from Illinois. Detroit. Yeah, look at Detroit. Detroit, what? That's in Michigan? Yeah. In Michigan? Disaster. Probably parts of Chicago and New York City, uh, Los Angeles. Um, now, I know there are some neighborhoods that will actually, that actually look nice, but you don't want to go in those neighborhoods. They may look okay, it doesn't mean they're safe to be in. So... you're going to see more police probably soldiers in the streets and you're going to see a lot of people being arrested and rounded up and protesters demonstrators will either just be hauled off to a camp or a prison or killed right then and there or killed somewhere along the way or they'll die in the camp As I've said before, I've already gone through all this. I went through it in Spain. I have no desire to go through it again, but people don't want to learn from history. And um, so what would the world look, what would this country, the United States, look like after the end of the world as we know it? In all honesty, I, I think in many places it's not going to look much different than it does now it's the activities that will be different if you will and the fact that even more people will be in poverty you will have I, I would argue there will be more third world conditions but things will probably look in many places they will look nice just like you know I've seen neighborhoods that look nice but they weren't safe neighborhoods. You know, I mean, there's already a lot of police corruption. I, I've watched cops sit on the hoods of their car with, with car, their patrol cars with gang members smoking pot. Well, 
I don't remember their sheriff's department, uh, their Bear County Sheriff's Department or San Antonio Police Department. It was in the county, not the city, but they still could have been uh, city cops out there. There's nothing that precludes them from going into the county. But, um, you know, I, if, if you pay attention, you hear about police killing people all the time. And, mistreating people, throwing people in jail, and giving people tickets for nothing. You know, there's a story of, of this couple in California that spent several months in jail because some cop thought that um, a bar of soap was cocaine. Uh, or people who have had their entire yards pulled up by police because some plant, some cop decides this plant looks like marijuana even though it actually doesn't even look anything similar to it. Um, you know, you, you, you're going to have a lot more of that. And I don't see people doing enough now to, to fight back. And, you know, I mean, you, you have Cop Block and you have uh, Dave Ridley. I highly recommend their channels. Um, they're exposing what goes on, but I don't think enough people are listening. And a lot of people think, well, you get rid of Obama, and you know whoever the next guy is, you know, he's going to be a Republican. And he's he's going to take care of no. If you think Obama's the problem, then you don't know what's going on. It, it, the Republican Party is a joke. It's there are there's one political party, but it has two names: the Republican Party and the Democratic Party, even though it's essentially one party now. People like Rand Paul. Rand Paul's a neocon. Okay? For those who don't know what a neocon is, a neocon is a socialist, not a conservative. Rand Paul was somewhere between a conservative and a libertarian. I'm surprised Ron Paul hasn't kicked Rand's ass. Yeah, I mean, you would think he would get after his son about all this. The but bullshit. Yeah, and you know, and the Libertarian Party has has been taken over by neocons, so it's um, we live in a sad state of affairs. But I just wanted to, out oh, just bit my lip, give my two cents worth. And by the way, that's my beautiful, wonderful wife back here that you heard. So um, I don't know. Have a good day. <laughs>